Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to add testing to our continuous integration pipeline for our React application in Azure DevOps. In the previous video of this series, we actually set up Jest on our local React application. Then we wrote the test case and tested it out. As you can see here, we passed. Now, this video will all be about how we can integrate this test as a part of the continuous integration, the CI pipeline in Azure DevOps. So basically, whenever we make a change to our repo, whenever we commit a change, that test will automatically be run, okay? So if you're watching this video, I do hope that you have a repo ready where you have just set up and you have a test, okay? You don't have to have watched my previous videos. You just need to have these things, a working React application, and you need to have a just test case, okay? That runs when you do npm run test or any equivalent command that executes your test cases, okay? So if you have that, great. Otherwise, go back and watch my previous video, which will be linked down to in the description below, okay? So let's begin. So now we'll go over to my Azure DevOps dashboard and we'll go over to pipelines and then we'll edit the pipeline that we created in the in the previous videos. We need to add in a new stage in here, okay? Right now we have this build stage where we actually build our application then deploy it to Docker. Again, that doesn't matter whether you have it this stage or not, okay? Because what we're doing has nothing to do with any of our previous videos. It doesn't matter whether you have deployed it using Docker or any other service, okay? So come down here and then we'll create a new stage called test, all right? And then we'll give it a display name of test run test cases using jest. All right, then we're going to create this jobs. Then we need to do job test, then this is quite long-winded, but then we're going to do, we'll just call this test as well, or, or run test cases, that's a bit more meaningful. Then we'll create our first job and call it test, all right? And over here, actually, wait, sorry, we already did that, but we need to create a task now. And the tasks we're going to create using this, okay? This that you see here on my right-hand side. This is a useful feature by Azure DevOps. It basically is like pre-built tasks or templates. So the first thing I want to do is set up node, set, a, set up node in our pipeline, because we need node to actually install the packages and then run the jest command, npm run test. So I'm gonna install node 18. You install whichever version you've been using and developing locally. Then I'm going to do add, Okay, then we need to add in a new test case, npm, all right, npm install, then the working folder. Let's just check that. Yeah, this is our working folder. We don't need to do anything over here. Okay, uh, basically, let me just explain that working folder, but basically this is our local repo, right? This is where we would execute any commands, npm, run, test, etc. But if you had to like cd into some kind of folder then and then execute it, like for example, cd into src and then run npm run test. So you would put, um, you know, you would put src in the working directory over there. Okay, and what's wrong with this? Um, something we're doing wrong? Oh, of course. I knew I was forgetting something. We forgot to put steps over here. Okay, there we go. And then the ending is slightly off over there. There, okay, it's good now. So next, we're going to add in a new task, another npm command. This time it's gonna be a custom command because we want to run this command, npm run test. So we'll add this in here and the indenting is off. So there we go, fix that. And there, that's all we have to do really. 
we set up node, we installed our modules, and then we ran the test. So I'm just going to save this pipeline, okay, and commit it. And that was maybe not a good idea because we don't ha have any files in there yet. I'm going to cancel this, okay. I'm just going to cancel that because there are currently no test files in there. So I'm going to come down here, then I'm going to do git pull to pull the new YAML file, this file. I'm, I want to get those new changes and there we go, we've got them. So then I'm going to add these changes. These are my changes when I was doing the jest setup. I haven't committed that yet, I was waiting for this video. So I'm going to make that commit added just test cases okay then i'm gonna do get push and now once this pushes it's gonna trigger my pipeline because my github is connected to azure devops using the extension azure pipelines so now let me just refresh this and this should trigger a new run there we go now, if all is well, both of these stages should complete. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to open it up and we'll check out the logs. Okay, Node has it installed. Now the npm command is running. All right, first npm command done. And there we go. Awesome. Both commands have been executed. And yeah, great. We can see that the test was passed and now the building is going to complete and then it's going to release. A release is going to happen. Actually, I may have disabled the continuous development because I was trying out some things. Let me see. Okay, it's enabled. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. There. It, it, it was on manual. And then I need to save this. Hopefully it'll trigger quickly. Okay, this the, the build hasn't com completed over here yet. So it should trigger our release as soon as it, as it completes. Okay, this is going to take like a minute. All right, and this is done. And this should trigger our release. There we go. It's now in progress. And anyway, uh, the point of our video, you know, the, what we were aiming to do in this video has been completed. Our tests have been executed. All right, let's just open that up again. So we'll end the video here. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel because we have more future videos coming out. We're going to add more and more features to our pipeline. For example, next up is Selenium. We're going to do some UI testing using Selenium. It's going to be a pretty interesting video, so stick around for that. All right? Later.